Hey guys, it's Eri22 here, and today I'm doing another um, grade for my test series, and today I'm doing fifth grade, and I'm not going to lie, I'm not the most excited for this test because I skipped fifth grade, so, um, yeah, so I'm going to, obviously I'm going to try, um, we'll see. It will be in the description how many I got right. And this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 questions. And also, if you want to get the test, the link is kind of cut off, but this is the link um i'll i will leave it in the description so yeah i'm just gonna start and yeah um the first question is choose the antonyms a funny and happy b shy and quiet c sail and sail and d quiet and loud antonym is the opposite of cinnamon uh, not syn synonym. I've been out of school for a while. It's summer. <laughs> synonym. And um, so that means that they have opposite meanings. Funny and happy, no. Shy and quiet, no. Sail and sail, no. And quiet and loud is the answer, which is D. When was the Declaration of Independence signed? A, 1812. B, 1776. C, 1777, and D, 1774. It's B, 1776. What, which number is the greatest? I'll show these answers. There. Um, and it's D, because there's no zero. Uh, like, the tenth, the tenth place doesn't have zero, so... D. Which of these is not a simple machine? A. Screw. B. Pulley. C. Hammer. Or D. Wedge. It's C. Hammer. 12 times 11 equals A. 120. B. 144. C. 121. D. 132. So, 12 times 12 is 144 minus 12 is 132. Choose the adjective in the sentence. Johnny ate a splendid apple. A, A, B, do, Johnny, C, apple, D, splendid. So it's D, splendid. Lines that are parallel. A, never touch. B, zigzag. C, cross eventually. And D, cross. So it's A, never touch. Like train tracks. Um, next question. What's the capital of Canada? A, Montreal, B, Ottawa, I think maybe I pronounced that right, C, Toronto, D, Vancouver. Um, I don't remember learning this. I don't, okay. I don't think it's, I think it's Ottawa, if I pronounce that right, but I think it's that one. I think it's B, because, I don't know, because Toronto, maybe it's Toronto, I don't think it's Vancouver, it's not Montreal, so it's either B or C, I think it's B though, so I'm going to put B. Um, next question, this is the thinking part of the brain, A, spinal cord, B, Carabrum, sorry, I can't pronounce things. Um, C. Carabellum and D. Brainstem. It's B. Carabrum. Or, sir, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, but it's B. Uh, next question If each side of a square is 63 inches, how far around is it? I'm gonna make a rule. No calculators until middle school. 
So I'm going to say in middle school, you can use calculators. But I'm not in middle school yet. So I'm still in fifth grade. So I'm just going to like do it out. So it's 63. Oh, it's the perimeter that they're asking for. So perimeter is for of a square is S times 4. And S it stands for side length, which is 63. So it's 63 times 4. 12, 24, 25. So that's the math I did right there down in the corner. So I came up with 252 inches. How many continents are there? A50, B243. And C, 209, there's D, seven continents. Um, next, what color do you get when you mix blue and yellow? A, brown, B, orange, C, red, and D, green. It's D, green. Can you be president of the United States if you've led a rebellion against it? No. No, you can't. Oh, my... Good thing I have a mechanical pencil because I keep breaking the lead. All right, next question. How many bones are in the human body? I don't know. Um, I don't remember learning this either. Skip fifth grade science. So, I'm going to go with 216 sounds right. The options are 230, 206, 216, and 188. I'm going to go with 216. Probably got that wrong. Because I'm guessing, but I don't know. What is the fourth planet from the sun? A, Mars, B, Earth, C, Venus, D, Jupiter. So it's Mercury, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Yeah, okay. So it's Mer Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Mars. Mars is A. Who surrendered to Ulysses S. Grant at Apple? Apomatox. All right, so we just learned this in eighth grade, um, and I'm pretty sure it's Robert E. Lee. I think. I did not like the Civil War, learning about it, because it, it's kind of boring to me, but I just don't like history, so yeah. Next, which essential element do trees provide? A, oxygen, B, nitrogen, C, carbon dioxide, and D, hydrogen. So it's A, oxygen. They take in the carbon dioxide and release oxygen. How do you measure air pressure? A, E meter, B, anemometer, C, thermometer, and D, barometer. So it's barometric pressure. So it's D. Um, thermometer measures temperature. So it's not thermometer. Um, next question. There are three rock classifications. This was in one of the other tests. I think it was maybe third grade, maybe. But it's igneous, sedimentary, and either precious volcanic, oceanic, and more metamorphic. So it's metamorphic, because I remember that question. All right, next question. Which is the fastest land animal? A, cheetah, B, gazelle, C, brown hair, and D, wildebeest. So it's A, cheetah. All right, we're done. That was the last question. So... I am finished from the fifth grade test, so I will leave in the description the link to this um, test, and I will leave how many I got right. So, yeah, um, I might put in the cards, um, like, the rest of this series. Um, so, yeah, it might be around, like, 9 minutes, 30 seconds. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!